Okay, so I have some extra problems that we didn't work in class that if you're needing some extra help here, um, the first thing we didn't do in most of the classes was check your understanding, which is on page 72 at the bottom of the page. Okay, so if you remember, the lesson 6-1 was multiplying and dividing with exponents. So these are multiplying, that's what this little dot means. And I know a shortcut. I actually know two strategies. One strategy is to write it all out in expanded form. So if I did that, that would be 3 to the ninth power. That would mean 3 times 3 times 3, 9 times, and then times 3 times 3 times 3, which would be the third power. But I also know a shortcut, and that's what I want to concentrate on because expanded form um, is time consuming, and when you know a shortcut, you want to, you know, save some time. So if you remember the shortcut when I multiply, I have to check that I have the same base. I have the base of 3, so both of them are the same, so that means I can just rewrite it. Okay, and then I ha can add my exponents. So that's 9 plus 3, which if you remember 9 plus 3 is 12. So that's all I have to do. Instead of writing all of those 3's out and then counting them, which I would have 12 at the end of it, um, I have this little shortcut here. So again, I'm going to look at number 5, which I can also expand and write A's a whole bunch of times. But since I have the same base of A, I can add 7 plus 4, which is 11. Alright, so that's all I have for the check your understanding. But I also had a couple more that we didn't do, and it's the try these B, which is on page 73. Okay, the problem says, consider the expression 8 to the x power divided by x to the fifth power. Rewrite the expression, I actually wrote it plural, I had to scribble it out, with the numerator and the denominator in expanded form. So I have to do it this way. I don't have a choice of using the shortcut because it tells me expanded form. So I'm going to write eight x's because it's um, x to the eighth power. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, all over x to the fifth. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, now B says simplify the expression you just wrote. Okay, so in order to simplify that, I'm going to cancel out all the ones. So remember, x over x is one. X over x is one. All of these, remember, any number over itself is one when I divide. So to simplify that, what do I have? I just have x, three x's. They're all over one, so I don't have to write that. Let me write it just so you can see that this is what I actually have now. And then to simplify it one step further, I have x to the third power. Okay? The last part says, describe how you could simplify the original expression without writing it in expanded form. Okay, so I actually know a shortcut with division rules of exponents that says if my base is the same number, I can just rewrite it, okay, so I do have the same number, which is x, and then I can subtract the numerator exponent and subtract the denominator exponent. So that gives me x minus 5, I'm sorry, 8 minus 5, which is x to the third power. And look, that matches my expanded form, so I know I did it right. So both ways are valid. I just want you to learn the rule because it's so much quicker. Okay, and I will see you in class.